I was born in the crucible of a fire that you created. But I was born anew as the flame. Not the flame of knowledge, not the flame of truth. Oh, no. I am the flame of war! The video has just started, and I have already been ambushed by some chap who's apparently cheated death, meaning I killed him before, and I don't even bloody remember him. Well, clearly you weren't that memorable in the first place. Mate, if I were you, I'd shift your focus onto your archer that just shot you. I think there's a little bit of a mutiny going on in your army that you need to be more concerned about. Do you know what, actually? I think I remember him. He was one of the guys that I just killed instantly with fire. So it's quite ironic that he is now literally called the Flame of War. Alright, mate. I don't want to have to do another battle. Let's just make this quick, yeah? Just a nice, quick and painless assassination. Yep, lesson learned. If you kill me when you didn't deserve to, you die. Perhaps this time I can convince you to stay dead. Kill me and look to the horizon. You will see flames. And they will be coming for you. I think what you've just described there is hell, my good man. And you must be confused, because I'm banished from death, and therefore your threats fall on deaf ears. And speaking of death... I think it's about time that you embraced its cold, or, in your case, rather hot, embrace once again. Well, that was an interesting start to the episode, and for God's sake, there's already another captain here, and he just exploded me! I don't take being exploded lightly, mate. Instead of facing me man to man, you decided to shoot me from a distance like a coward. And I'm afraid cowards do not exactly survive out here in Mordor. And I feel the need to question why your crossbow just took off. Ah, oh, salutations, mate. This is hardly gentlemanlike. This is not a fair fight at all. Ah, oh, but no worries. Gollum's here to save the day and just absolutely murder this massive Olog, I'm sure. Or just be completely smashed against the wall and become two-dimensional. How did that man get his own game? Oh, was that what that was? Saving me? Your spine's gone, mate. We keep our distance, so we don't get squished and crushed into bits. <laughs> you what? Well, what the devil happened earlier then? Oh, and guess who Gollum is with? Give me the rope! Sorry, forgot. The spider's bloody clairvoyant. Brilliant Iron Maiden song, by the way. Noticed, kill a big skin. The bigger the target, the higher he rises. Cool, there's an assassin. Can we leave now? Idril. She dies. Yeah! Sorry, I celebrated too early. Talion wants to kill this assassin to save Idril. Who would have guessed? Yeah, I know, mate. I'm following you, but you're moving slower than a spider with one leg. And no pun intended considering our current setting. Only a Morgul blade could have caused these wounds. We're on the right track. <laughs> what wounds? Upham had more blood on him at the end of saving Private Ryan than that orc. Another victim. Yet this one still lives. Let's find out. Well, then he isn't exactly a very effective assassin, is he? Nice try, you cheeky git. Well, there's Ezio. I must say, the years have been cruel. It's awfully convenient that he stood right underneath the thing that spawns in what he's terrified of. Come on, you bastard, let's have a go- OH! <laughs> I've followed through my orders, so if you're here to stop me, you'll be sorely disappointed. Mate, if you killed Idril, I will buy you a house. Unfortunately, however, you haven't, so I'm going to kill you. As much as I would absolutely love to stand idly by as you murder Idril, the game won't let me. And therefore, you are going to have to be assassinated yourself. And once a sudden again, we have just saved the life of Idril. Will it benefit us? No, it bloody won't. Ah, oh, my apologies, yes it will. We level up. Do you know what? I feel like disabling an outpost. Gosh, the murderous! Prepare to change your title to Gosh the Murdered. Silently does it. Silent. What? 
Oh, for Your waters are no match for the flame! You will boil like the others in your vanity and ambition! I burn you alive, you come back legendary. I skewer you, you come back 20 levels higher. This time I'm going to bloody decapitate you. Then we'll see how you come back from that. Oh, of course he's a bolt breaker. Why wouldn't he be? Ow, and also a me breaker, apparently. I don't know how I'm going to do this. The man is 20 levels above me. Come on, mate, you've only got your soul to lose. Ow, no, please. Okay, come on. All right. I'm just going to be left alone. That's that's lovely. That is lovely. Wait, wait, wait what? Want to dance? I want to dance. <laughs> Will you dance with me? <laughs> mate, I don't know if dying twice erases your memory or something. Even though I probably should because I've done it enough times. But you've done your little monologue thing before. Absolute precision is what is needed here. Wait, excuse me? No! Oh, good grief. Becoming a bad habit, this. Well, bad for you. Here I am, finally deciding, hey, you know what? I'm going to finally disable an outpost. That'll be fun, won't it? No, of course it bloody won't. Because an orc that I've already killed twice comes back and kills me. Shadow of War. Mate, I just walked into you and then got a home run. You didn't stand a chance in war anyways. Oh, I'm so glad you decided to run. I love it so much when you run. Right, mate. Firstly, this is the first time we have ever met, so I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. And secondly, it's rather convenient that you show up just after I learn about your weaknesses. Now, if you're so lost, how about I point you into the nearest direction of purgatory? Let me know if you find where you're trying to go. I doubt it was the last of its kind. Yep, just passing through rocks. Who needs physics? <laughs> Did I just switch hostages? I, w I swear I was holding on to the archer, and then I just had the pale guy that looks like a snowman. I suppose that's what he deserved after smacking his mate with a bludgeon. Ah, oh, jolly good. I am the butcher of men. The Carver of Swine, and I'm here for you! We'll see about that. Oh, for Pete's sake, old boy. If you're going to threaten me, then at least don't be pathetic. Your health is disappearing faster than the Light Brigade in the Battle of Balaclava. You're, it's done. It is done. Not quite sure how you earned the title The Chop, but I suppose that's because you didn't exactly get the opportunity to show me. You couldn't last 20 seconds. <laughs> Whatever you just heard of him saying, I'm afraid that's all you're getting because he decided to jump me while I wasn't recording. Yeah! Hey, you got a bit more dialogue there. I could not care less how many more times the game tells me you are arrowproof. I am shooting you and you are dying. It's as John Locke said, don't tell me what I can't do. Baronor. I'm here to help you, but not by choice. Only because the game is forcing me to. Alright, Baronor, kill that chap over there. <laughs> this game would be so much easier without Gondorians. Can't we just let them die? Look, this is what the- <sighs> This is a Gondorian. What will we be missing? Well, well, yes, no shite, mate. I am literally single-handedly saving your entire city. What is best? <laughs> oh, why do you have to ruin it? We just pull off a really cool synchronized takedown. You know, I feel really happy that we just did that. And you just ruin it by saying for Gondor. Why for Gondor? Sod Gondor. <laughs> oh yeah, nice swing, Talion. Really showed him there. Bomb's gone. 
<laughs> what just happened? We both just hopped a little bit in the air and then suddenly all his health's gone. Oh, salt skins deliver themselves straight to me! Let's have some fun! Yes, let's have fun. Not your caribou, though. Bugger off. Ow, it, it's always the ranged ones that get you. Always. Oh, for God's sake, it's, it, it's always them! Bloody hell, a Gondorian did something useful. My word, it's unheard of. I almost feel sorry for the war chief we're hunting. He'll be lonely without his bodyguards. He'll Bloody hell, alright, Jack Churchill. Well, that's a couple more missions down today. And the creation of an absolutely unkillable orc that I have no clue what to do about.